Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Boys Book Club. I'm homeschool mom of two boys who are going to be in fourth grade and first grade this homeschool year. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the read alouds that we're going to be doing for this homeschool year. So before I show you our read aloud books for this homeschool year, I wanted to show you this read aloud planner that I made. Um, so in here you have the front page which is the read aloud planner, school year name and stuff. And then your books to read, the book title and the author. And then curriculum books is for the read aloud books that you have for your history, geography, or maybe your language arts and the library books, the books that you borrow, just so you know when you borrow the date and then the return date and the bookshop books to buy. I like to plan the books that I'm going to buy just so I don't overspend and don't go over my budget. So I put there the price as well and my reading tracker and then my book log. In the book log, you can see the book details, the genre, page length, and when did I start, and my end date, and codes, and overall rating, and how you like the books, like the whole family, and do they enjoy them or like them, so you can read it over there as well. Um, I decided to make this one because last year I didn't fully commit to my read aloud, so I'm very, very determined to commit and finish all the read aloud books that I bought for this homeschool year. And then at the end, you also have your my notes. Uh, these are 40 pages. If you're interested, you can purchase them on my Etsy. I will put the, dis the link on the description box below. They are 40 pages and they're for around $3. So I printed them out in an A5 size paper just because I like like small planners and then i just got this from a like daiso and this is how the if you like like cute big planners like the a4 size this is how it looks like for the a4 size so in here oh sorry that's another one here is your reading tracker and stuff and then your book log so this is the a4 size Okay, so this is the A5. I much prefer the A5. I like small planners than the big ones. So yeah, so now let's head on to the read aloud books. First book I'm going to show you is The Lost Spells. Uh, I did a flip through of the uh, other book that's from also the same author and illustrator. What I love about this Check out the details of the book, guys. It is so beautiful. And at the back, it is so pretty. This is a poetry book. And it has tons and tons of really beautiful illustrations. So this is our first read aloud. So I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. Okay, so this is The Lost Spells. So let's head on to the next read aloud. So this is the other book that I got. I believe I got it from a bookstore a few weeks ago. It is by Mark Twain. And it is, it has also illustrations, colorful illustrations inside. So, this is one of the books. I am really committed to finish all the books that I'm buying for this time. So in here it says, discover the story of a boy, his chickens, some magic seeds, and the search for stolen prints. So that's the second book. And then third book is Snow and Rose. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through because they're are illustrations inside as well. Gorgeous illustrations. I, I have a really soft spot for books that has really good illustrations inside. So this is the other book. 
um, that I got. And then in here, it says, Snow and Rose were two sisters as different as night and day. They lived in the woods, but it hadn't always been so. And then, the other book is Winnie the Pooh. It also has very gorgeous, colorful illustrations. I mean, everybody knows Winnie the Pooh, so no need to say anything more. So this is the fourth book that we're going to be reading. But I believe I'm going to be reading the Snow and Rose first and then head on to the others. And the next book I'm going to show you is my absolutely favorite one. The book I'm going to show you is one of my favorite books. It's called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. This is how um, I love this one. It's I read it already and I decided that I wanted to read it the boys this year. As I was reading it, I was kind of like teary eyed sometimes because it has so many beautiful life lessons inside. Maybe some of them, my boys wouldn't really get the concept, but I would still want to read it to them. Hopefully I want to read it to them every, like once a year because it's so beautiful. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts part of the book is what do you want to be when you grow up kind said the boy I mean I I don't know I'm getting goosebumps guys while I was reading that it's just so beautiful the message is beautiful it's absolutely beautiful it is worth having inside your home please don't forget if you don't have it please go check it out from Amazon or your local bookstore it's called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. It is very, it is a very, very beautiful book. And the last one, it's called Frog and Toad. It is the complete collection. I'm actually, I actually have phobia from frogs and toads, but I can't stand even just like pictures, but yeah. So I'm going to read it to the boys. This looks clear. It's like the complete collection of the book. So I think you guys, you guys are already familiar with this one, but I just wanted to read the whole collection for the boys. I love this copy, as you can see. It is very beautiful. It's something that you want to have in your library and that's going to be with you for a really long time. So I really like this, this copy of the book instead of like the readers the small ones or the like individual books i'm so happy to find the uh, complete collection of the book so yeah so again i'm going to show you the things that we're going to be reading for this school year so frog and toad the boy the mole the fox and the horse we need the poo and Snow and Rose, and the map, please. So if I would recommend any books from this um, Read Aloud, I would highly, highly recommend, of course, just what I said a while ago, is The Boy, The Mole, and The Horse. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you like the our Read Aloud collection for this homeschool year and then again if you are interested in purchasing the digital file of the planner the read aloud planner i will link that below it's on my etsy shop um there are around 40 pages and it's only for three dollars so again thank you for watching see ya bye